So now we're connected to our database, hopefully. Let's just change this to a database one, which doesn't exist, and we can see uh, what we're returning. Oh, SQL DB database one. Okay, let's refresh. Hmm. Okay, let's um, let's try and specify this in here. Just uh, blah, for example. Come back, refresh. Okay, it's still working. Um, I guess what we're going to do at this point is we're going to uh, specify MySQL DB, and we can also say or die. And we can say con error, the uh, error we um, specified before. This could be anything. It could just be uh, you could just say or die without some without text. Um, so let's try and refresh and see what happens. Okay, so could not connect. The reason for this is that we've specified the database as a underscore database one when this database doesn't exist in our collection of databases. So let's delete the one and see what happens. You can see that now we're connected. Okay, so this is a pretty bad way to go about things. Now, eventually I'm going to include all this in a single file. And what we can do is we can use um, include within PHP to include this anywhere we want to use our database. So it's a lot better way uh, to work everything out. Um, and including it means that you don't have to keep specifying the code that we've written just here. So I'm going to get rid of this echo here. I'm going to put at just there. And I'm going to um, get rid of the error message that we've supplied in here. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm going to get rid of the whole line. So at the moment, if we just echo out um, OK down here, you can see that everything is working fine. It's going to echo out OK. We've selected, we've selected uh, everything correctly and everything's working. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an if statement. And I'm going to say if... And I'm going to copy this into without the semicolon. So let's delete them too. Copy that into an if statement. So if this returns true, then we want to do something. So um, we want to start up another if statement with a block here. And we want to include this in here. So I'll put this all in for now and then I'll run through what we're doing. So what we're doing now is we're saying if MySQL connect is true, so if this has connected and there's no errors, Remember, we can put an at sign in front of these so they don't um, so they don't give out us an out an error uh, if they don't. So if MySQL connect blah blah blah, then go inside and if MySQL connect DB, then we can say OK, and we're ret returning OK again. So what happens if it doesn't connect? Um, what I'm going to do is instead of writing um, just MySQL connect and just MySQL select B, um, select DB, I'm going to say if not, if not. Then in here, um, in fact, no, I'm not. Let's come back. Um, the best way to do this would be to combine them into a single um, if statement. So I'm going to say if not MySQL connect um, and not MySQL select DB echo or we can in fact die so that's probably a better idea die that's it we can just say die okay um, maybe give an error so we can say con error uh, that should be okay yeah okay so MySQL connect um, we're performing this here we're saying if this hasn't worked or we should be doing actually so or this hasn't worked kill the page and uh, connection error so let's refresh okay everything's worked because we haven't killed with a connection error now we can say else echo connected so we can refresh we're going to remove this connected um, display message because we don't want to obviously uh, we don't want to display this to the user every time we're connecting to our database. Um, now let's change something. So we'll change this back to Alex. And we'll refresh. Um, we've got a, an error. We can obviously put our. I oh know that'd be there. 
put our at symbols in there so we just get our could not connect error back um, so now let's um, change this database to one but we'll change that back to root we're still getting a could not connect error so we're killing the page if we can't connect for either reason and if we're not then we're carrying on uh, down to here so we're killing the page if we get an error because if you have a lot of um, if you've got a lot of uh, need to access a database on your page there's no point echoing your page if you can't connect to the database so for example if the database is down for any reason this will also produce a connection error so that's basically how to connect to your database and how to handle errors um, in the correct way if um, for any reason you can't connect to either your database or select or connect your server or, or select your database